Hi, I'm Ray Tanson, Product Manager at Personas. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Projects and Scenes workflow so you can get a handle on some of the new features and functionality. With the new 2.0 firmware update for the Series 3 mixers, we've changed the way scenes work. So now, instead of just a blanket scenes list, you have Projects and Scenes. Projects contain all of the general configuration settings of your mixer, such as your digital patching, your AVB stream inputs, your flex mix modes. And then within each project, you can have multiple scenes. And the scenes are going to be your general mix settings, fader levels, fat channel settings, that sort of thing. So let's take a look at how this looks on the mixer. So here on the mixer, if I go into my scenes menu, you'll see my list of projects on the left and the scenes that are within that project on the right. So if I select uh, one of my projects, you'll see some of them have multiple scenes. And I have store, recall, and reset for projects, as well as store, recall, and reset for scenes. When you recall a project, it's automatically going to recall a scene within that project. By default, it will choose the first scene in the list, uh, but you can select any of the scenes prior to hitting the recall button if you would like to recall a different scene than the first one on the list. The store and recall buttons on the mixer will relate to the actual scene recalls, where the store and recall on the project screen itself relate to the project specifically. If you are recalling a scene from a different project, it will recall the project associated with that scene. We don't want to recall a scene that's in a different project without also recalling that project because, again, the project contains configuration settings, such as your flex mix modes, and recalling a scene that wasn't designed to go with a particular project could create some bad scenarios for your mix and the way it's set up or with the way audio is routed. So we want to make sure we avoid that. And so that's why you can't recall a scene in a different project without also recalling that project. There's also a couple of new uh, features with the new projects and scenes. Let's take a look at that. So we have our filters, and you have both project filters as well as scene filters, and we've added some new things in there. Probably one of the most exciting is the recalling of the AVB input patching. Uh, this is a really cool feature. Uh, anything that is patched into the mixer's AVB stream inputs can be recalled with a project now. That means if you have multiple stage boxes, you can switch from being connected to the mic inputs from one set of stage boxes to a different set of stage boxes based on the project. Really cool if you have a multi-use facility or you're doing a festival gig or things like that. Uh, there's a lot of other filters for projects and then a lot of the familiar filters you're used to seeing with scenes as well. If we go into the list editor, that's where we can make changes to the project name, lock projects, as well as change the order of scenes within a project. So I've got a project here. Let's choose this one. I can choose to rename it if I'd like. Uh, I can lock it. I can delete it. But if I go into the scenes of this selected project, uh, I can also select scenes and move the order in which the scene shows up in the list. This is great for uh, theater, marching band, even performance bands where you might want to change the set list, change the order of songs that you might be recalling or events that you're going to recall throughout a set. Really handy feature. And then, of course, we have the scene safe, which we've always had, which allows you to lock out a particular channel so it won't be recalled as part of a scene. So that is how the new uh, projects and scenes workflow works from the console mixer. It's predominantly the same workflow from UC Surface, but let's take a quick look just to see. All right, so in UC Surface, if I go into my project menu, I'll see all of my projects on the left, and then I'll see the scenes for that associated project on the right. I'll have all of my scene filters for projects on the left, all my scene filters for scenes on the right. I can store, recall, uh, reset, and lock. To rename, I just uh, right click and I can choose to rename. I also have tabs for import, export. This is where I can transfer projects to and from the computer from the mixer. And then my scene save, just like we had on the console mixer itself. So that's the new projects and scenes workflow. 
some cool new features, as well as some new ways of working with your projects and scenes. We encourage you to take a look at it and check it out, um, and think about the ways that you could use projects and scenes by using the flexibility of having a project and then multiple scenes in that project. Some cool new workflows for the Studio Live Series 3. So thank you for watching, and enjoy the new projects and scenes.